Titan here once again and it is time for another best class setup or OP class setup video whatever you want to call it but this time you guys might not expect the PO6 being in the best class setup video but you won't regret watching this and also before you watch this I made a PO6 video titled the God Gun if you haven't seen that already then click the thumbnail on the top of the screen and watch it because this video will make much more sense then. Also, if you're enjoying the OP class setup series, which I'm assuming you do considering the amount of views and likes I got for my previous OP class setup videos, don't forget to show the same support and the same love and drop a like on this video as well and maybe even share it if it's not too much to ask to support my channel. So once again, before we jump into the attachments and perks I was using, first I will say a few words about this gun because when I say it is a god gun, I really do mean it. And I also have three different gameplays to just show again that with this gun everyone can do consistently good and... Talking about consistency, people were actually calling me a hacker more times than I can count. Now that I think back actually... Right, we all know that the PO6 is a burst firing sniper rifle. What most of us didn't know is that the PO6 is an amazing weapon that doesn't even belong in the sniper rifles category and it's so underestimated. Now, it has 15 bullets in a single magazine and it fires in bursts of 3 which is enough for 5 shots or bursts before you will need to reload which is not bad at all because if you don't miss you can pop a 5 piece easily. Done. The standard reload time is pretty long which is a downside of this weapon since the PO6 needs to be and can be used more like a rushing assault rifle. Now if you watched my other video about the PO6 then you know what I mean by learning the timing of this weapon so to be honest this is crucial for you to learn and practice if you really want to do good with this gun. Otherwise, it wouldn't really matter what attachments and perks I tell you to use in this video. So getting the timing down between each shot is important because you can cut down from the wind-up time and the delay between, you know, every shot, which in other words can make you shoot slightly faster with this weapon. And finally, let's talk about the attachments that you will need to get the most out of this gun. The first attachment that you see on the screen is the ELO sight. Now this is something that is really really important since just a second ago I was saying that the PO6 should be used more like a rushing type weapon and the ELO sight will allow you to see what is actually around you. If you use the standard scope uh, when you aim in that will block your vision and it is somewhat more frustrating. However, if you prefer the st standard sight then go for it. Now the next attachment is rapid fire. This attachment will not make you fire any faster but it will make your burst delay be less. And what that means is that the free bursts when you shoot will be fired much quicker. But actually, if you think about it some more, that will also mean that you can get your next shot ready slightly faster. Now, if you feel that rapid fire doesn't do much to you or for you, then a really good alternative would be extended magazine for two main reasons. One, you will get more bullets just in case if you miss a lot and two, you might not have to run scavenger perk which we will talk in the perk section in a minute. The next attachment is fast mags. This is crucial for the PO6 since its standard reload time is really slow. With fast mags you can reload very fast which is really useful to get ready for your next shot. There has been so many times when I tried going for clips and there were like, I don't know, 5-6 people and I ran out of bullets and fast mags came in clutch actually with the fast reload speed and I could continue my shrieks or my clips. Apart from these three attachments including the ELO side, you don't need anything else. And as I said, maybe you can swap out rapid fire with extended magazine if you feel like, but rapid fire works really good for me. Now the perks that I was using were different from time to time and I will mention all the perk combinations that work you know, really good with the PO6. Now the first set of perks are the ones that did the best for me, but I will mention, you know, different ones that you could maybe swap to fit your own playstyle. 
Now the first perk that you are seeing is Flag Jacket. If you're playing with a sniper of any sort, you will not need Ghost because otherwise if you would want to completely stay off the radar, you would need a Silencer which would be a waste of space on the PO6. So Flag Jacket will make sure to actually not die from all these different explosions. The next set of perks are Fast Hands and Scavenger. I personally like using Scavenger since I find myself run out of ammo if I try to go for a nuclear or the bigger streaks, especially if I miss, but it is not necessary. So that perk can be taken either off or swapped with another one, such as hardwired to avoid trip mines or even cold blooded so you won't be targeted by ground based AI streaks, which is also really good to have. The other perk is Fast Hands and this is a must since it will increase your ADS speed and will get your aim ready way faster after you sprint which you do in this game a lot. Now the last perk that I am using is Tech Mask. This held me out in so many situations against flashes and even shock charges. These days people will love to throw flashes around especially in the lobbies that I seem to join and there are a lot of campers with shock charges placed around the corners so this is really helpful to prevent all these nonsense bullshit. However, if you always get into lobbies where no one is using flashes and shock charges, then you can also use that silence so people won't hear you moving around. And the absolute best thing to do is to make two different class setups with the PO6 to have at hand, just so you can encounter everything that comes in your way. But this was today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe to my channel if you are new for more Black Ops 3 content. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts about this weapon and also let me know if you tried playing with it and if it worked well for you. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for over 350 subscribers. We're getting somewhat close to 1,000. It sounds really amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for watching. Stay well, stay awesome. And